this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this fold and tuck card with the Pansy Patch Bundle. Here's the Pansy Patch Bundle. It has these lovely Pansy stamps and dies to cut them out as well as these extra dies to create your own Pansy and these lovely sentiments too. It's a really fun bundle to play with. The suite, the Pansy Petals suite, also includes the Pansy Petals Designer Series paper. It's got all these lovely designs, and I love when the dies coordinate and can cut out the leaves, and they also cut out the flowers, the small pansy and the large pansy. I also love all the plaids. There's the Fresh Freesia plaid, and I just saw the Soft Succulent plaid. And then there's also a pale papaya plaid. And then there's also bumblebee trinkets that are part of the suite. And we're going to use one of them on our card. So to start, I have used a piece of 11 by four and a quarter cardstock scored at two and three quarters and five and a half. So basically folded it in half and then fold it in half again. And then I'm gonna turn it vertical. And then I have a piece of the designer series paper that I'm just gonna put on the bottom. And it is four and one eighth by two and five eighths. So I'm just going to adhere that to the card. I love this pale papaya color. Just reminds me of tropical breezes and tropical fruits. Tropical fruits, because it's a papaya. All right, so now I have a piece of fresh freesia, and this is four and three quarters by three and three quarters, and I'm going to adhere this inside uh, the back of the card, and I'm going to um, put it at the top. There's going to be more space at the bottom. So I'm going to place it towards the top so that I have an equal border around the sides and the top. The bottom will have a larger border. Next I have a piece of polished pink and this is nine inches long by three and a half inches tall, scored at four and a half, and folded in half. And then I'm going to adhere this to the Fresh Freesia. And this is gonna be my top flap. And then inside, I'm going to put a piece of basic white. And that is going to be uh, three and a quarter by, let me double check that. Yep, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then on the outside, I have some designer series paper and I've made the margin a little bit tighter so this is, instead of three and a quarter, it is three and three eighths by four and, double check again, four and three eighths. So three and three eighths by four and three eighths. I love how all these pretty colors go together so nicely. All right, so now to decorate, I have a label from the Hippo and Friends dies that I'm going to place up here. And then I'm going to stamp the pansy. So I'm gonna put this over here and I'm gonna start with Fresh Freesia. And I'm going to actually stamp the detailed stamp first. I find that it's easier to place the uh, full stamp after I stamp the detailed stamp. 
So here is the typically second uh, stamp that you would stamp, but I'm stamping it first. I'm gonna get that nice and dark. And then here's the full stamp. And I'm just gonna lightly get that very light. And um, I might even stamp off. So if I'm gonna stamp off, then I'm gonna get it darker. And I'm gonna stamp off. And then this will help me uh, line up the stamp better. So when I line it up, I can see these two little points right here that I can line it up with. And I wanted a, a little bit more contrast, so that's why I stamped off. So definitely a lot more contrast in this pansy than in my sample pansy. For the middle of the pansy, I decided to use Blackberry Bliss. It's one of the colors in the designer series paper. I think it goes really nicely. And I've got this tiny little middle that I'm just going to stamp. We've got several different choices for middles in the stamp set. You've got uh, small, medium, and large. So you can choose out of the three. So I chose the small one. I like to see the white of the pansy as well. And then you have the tiniest stamp ever, this tiny little middle. And you gotta be careful about this one because it likes to run away and uh, you don't wanna lose it. So just be keep track of it when you're cleaning it and when you're putting it back because it's really easy for it to fall off. And then you're going to uh, cut this out. You're also going to uh, stamp the leaves and cut those out as well. So I've already done that. So I have my uh, pansies and my leaves and the leaves also have a two-step stamping so that you have the light and the dark. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. This is uh, from the stitched rectangle dies, the second largest long rectangle. And I'm going to stamp this sentiment in soft succulent. So a little hello from me to you. That just barely fits in there. So it's perfect. And then inside, I stamp, I didn't stamp anything. I thought I stamped something. I guess I didn't. That's on the next card. I stamped something inside. All right, so now we are going to assemble with dimensionals. So this gets dimensionals, this gets dimensionals, and this gets dimensionals. So we are gonna start with uh, mini dimensionals. And uh, I'm just gonna put a regular dimensional on this one, maybe two. And use some of the edges of my mini dimensionals. Okay, and then mini dimensionals for this bottom piece, I'm only gonna place on the bottom because I want the top to be free so I can tuck my piece into it there. And then I'm gonna use the edges here for the hippo die. So we can place this towards the top and then put our pansy down in the middle, right there. And then we can just use adhesive on our, where did the adhesive go? It's right here, it's always right here, right in front of me, on our leaves. So we'll put two on this side. the 
other side. And then we're going to kind of measure where this piece is gonna go by folding everything up. And then we'll attach it while this is folded down. So we know where to place it like that so it'll stay tucked. And then our little honey or bumblebee trinkets we'll put on a glue dot. Oops. Glue dot. There we go. And we'll just place our little honeybee up here in the corner. So cute. Love it. I love the fresh colors, all the new in colors. They work so prettily together. Is that a word, prettily? <laughs> okay, so I'm offering a free card kit when you purchase the bundle. It includes our fold and tuck card, this cute uh, flower pot card, and this expanding card so it expands when it opens. So uh, after you purchase the bundle using the May Hostess code, just email me and let me know that you would like the Pansy Patch Card Kit and I will send it out to you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other Pansy Patch videos. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.